This is the finished wallet when it's folded. So let's get started. First you need to cut your wallet apart from the other one as it's printed out with two at a time. Next cut a piece of the laminating layer larger than your wallet so that you can apply it to the surface. Now it's time to apply the transparency layer which protects it when you put it in out of your pocket. So to do this you need to do it with two people so that someone can hold the far edge up and you don't get unwanted part of the material sticking to your wallet. Uh, when you set it down it needs to be flat and even. You'll notice in in my video here, the beginning of it I get some bumps and ripples that I try to get out and then I get it smooth and I go on. So I suggest you start on the end of the wallet that doesn't have the front and back face so that if you do get a few wrinkles you can iron them out as you're putting it down and then once you do get it flat and evenly pulling um, it goes down very smoothly. Now it's time to cut again. This time be careful that you don't cut into the wallet as any cuts into the wallet will create a weakened point where tears or rips can happen in the future. So carefully cut around the outside following all the lines. Uh, it's up to you if you decide to cut the line off or leave it on. If you leave it on there's a couple little corners where you might see the line if it's a drastic color. Uh, so cutting it off might be a good idea but it's uh, up to you for how you want to cut it. After you're done cutting the outside you need to cut the center slot out where it is the card slot so you can place cards in your wallet when it's folded. When you cut this one out make sure you do cut the line off because if you do leave the line it's visible and you will see it. Cut out a piece of the clear film that we apply to our wallet um, from your extra scraps and place it on the back side of the cutout. This will uh, give your wallet extra protection in the opening where you slide your cards in and out and stop it from breaking down. Now hit the folding stage of our wallet. So you need to do the first two uh, cuts at the bottom and then fold the tabs in on the side and clip those back as well as the two first tabs that you cut so that they're a little bit shorter and then they don't show up in the opening uh, for the wallet where the cards go in. After you've done that, just follow the process of folding um, to put the wallet together. We won't glue anything on the first go. You'll fold everything together and make sure that it's all folded correctly and goes the right way and that you have no problems. And then once it's assembled, then you just take it back apart and we'll go to the next step of gluing the couple joints. Next you can take the wallet back apart so that you can access the couple joints that you need to glue. You need to glue the uh, small bottom tabs to the flaps that come in front of it and then glue to the bottom of the small tabs and then set that back down against the back side of the opening uh, of the wallet and that creates the back of the wallet where your cards will go in. Once you've done that then fold the wallet back together. Uh, put the side tabs back in and press it down from both sides. Let the glue dry for about an hour so that you don't risk of anything shifting. And then once you've done that, then take the wallet and fold it in half and press it down. It's a good idea to either leave it in your pocket for a while or set it under a heavy book so that that center crease with all of those layers of material gets folded together.